Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to fix the problem if you're getting an alarm on a Mariner or Mercury outboard, four stroke. I don't know about the two strokes, it might be the same. A constant uh, buzz, like a beep. Well then you know it's uh, overheating. So definitely a problem you want to fix straight away. Um, this happened to me yesterday. So I'll run you through the steps. Um, you've got to, well, check your thermostat first which is this one here. I'll go ahead and check that, but that's not likely to be the problem, but worth checking before we go ahead and do the rest. I recommend you watch this whole video before you attempt what I'm about to do. It's um, not a quick fix at all. Um, it'll take at least, well, a few hours anyway. We've actually got to take the whole power head off and where that meets the actual skeg, uh, where the two meet, well, there, there's a little rubber grommet, grommet sorry, where the water flows through, your cooling water. That can swell up and block and then there's no water get into your cooling system of your head so um and that's why you're getting this alarm so anyway i'm going to uh start with the thermostat all right so the cover of the thermostat's off already pulled it out and cleaned it up a touch uh here's the thermostat i'm going to go check it now with some boiling water so let's go and have a look so here it goes, I'll pour some boiling water on it and we should be able to see it move just a touch. That steam doesn't help, does it? Here she goes, she opened up. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll just clean it up and put it back in. Here's the thermostat. Just have a close look at it before you throw it in the boiling water. That bowl there's got boiling water in it. You can sort of see that where it is. I'm looking at, at this end of it. It's here. You want to see that bit move when it goes into boiling water. Please focus. It's starting to move. You see a little green line moving there? It's moving, it's moving. That's fine, it's opening. It's opening up. Yeah, all right, so there's nothing wrong with the thermostat. I'll just clean that up best I can and uh, throw it back in. Okay, I'll show you where I'm up to. Uh, I've just taken out the little cable holder here out of the front to give me some slack. Sorry, the music's pretty loud. Um, I'm getting slack in the cables, so then when I lift the power head off, um, I can get to underneath it. You only need about a foot or so and you should be okay. You have to undo five bolts, or it might be more actually. There's, where are we? There's one there, which holds your little fuel connection on. Undo that one. There's one at the back in here. Oh man, you can't see this, eh? All right. There's one in there. I've already undone it. There's one down the bottom. There's two just here, one and two. There's one hidden up under here, and there's one down there. Undo them, and then you can actually take the, the housing off. Oh, geez, that's loose. And that way, you can get under here and get these bolts off that all go into the power head. They look pretty bad. I don't even know if I'll be able to get this off. Uh, without breaking the bolts. Anyway, I'll, I'll keep going and see how it goes. Okay, that's worked out really good. I've managed to, as you can see, there's a gap in here now. Um, the power head's starting to come off. I can't find anything else connected to the power head, uh, except for all those cables, but there's about a foot of slack. Uh, everything else seems ready to go. This little bit here just, just pops out and uh well, the other side looks fine so i'll go ahead try to lift that power head up about a foot very slowly and carefully and once that's up i'll be able to get in and get to the grommet the rubber grommet that's causing the problem so uh i'll do that and show show what's going on okay now the power head's off and the reason well, the main reason to get that off is you've got to get in here and put a 10 allen key and it's a 5mm allen key 
uh, as you undo that allen key inside there this skeg will come off just here and basically you've got to drop that skeg off I um I took the lower unit off as well just so it's less weight um, that's pretty straightforward because five bolts or something but uh, this is the more difficult bit and time consuming so yeah slowly drop that off and this is where we need to get in okay okay so it's off just be careful there's all your oil in there and you don't want to get anything in there whatsoever well, you should probably replace your oil too but in the meantime don't get it dirty this is our problem here you can see in there it's supposed to be a big round hole it's all closed in so basically I've got to tidy that up the best I can so I'll go ahead and do that now take out the rubber grommet and all the rest of it okay it's starting to come out I actually got a screwdriver I just followed the, the line down you got this copper line which is the cooling water line and just pried it under there and by pushing on that and working it with my hand holding on and working it up I managed to pop it out so you got to get that out and then uh, we'll clean it up okay so you got to clean all that corrosion out um, that's what's pushing the rubber grommet in I've already cleaned a lot of it out so it doesn't look too bad but I've still got a lot more to go there and then I'll prime it with some uh, really good primer I'm going to actually gonna use epoxy um, but if you've got any really high quality primers, do that. So you do it right the first time. You won't have to do it again in a few years' time. So I painted some epoxy inside there. And then I'll just clean the top of it and make sure that it's a nice seal for when you put the gasket back on. But um, yeah, it looks a lot better now. And that should hopefully last forever. All right, I got it back together. I forgot to take the last shot there of um, after I cleaned it all up. But yeah, pretty straightforward what I did there. Put some epoxy on, it worked great from what I can see. I'll have to run it first and see if uh, it all went to, went to plan. Uh, this is a good opportunity to go in and clean your engine too while you got it, all the casings off the outside. So I'll go ahead and do that and then uh, finish putting it back together. Then I'll give it a run. And one thing I will be checking is make sure no water's getting into the oil. So I run it with the earmuffs on and the fresh water run through it and just keep checking the oil. Um, because we have played those gaskets, you never know, you might end up with um, with a leak there. I've used the old gaskets. Um, it usually works fine. You can buy new ones, but they're bloody expensive. It's up to you. All right, here we go. All back together now and flowing beautiful. It's putting out a lot more water than it was before. And you can see out the exhaust, there's water coming out of the exhaust. Well, we're back with a prop here. Water, you'll feel that's a lot hotter. That's the water you want coming out. Okay, beautiful. Can take it for a test run. What do you reckon, Captain Sawana? It's scary. Bailey, Bailey. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. Hello,